my sweater. It literally feels like just yesterday it was the new year. We're already going into 2022. Like we're all, we're closer to 2022 than we were to 2020. And it just freaks me out. Like so much has happened, but yet so much like hasn't. <laughs> but we're not gonna go into that. We wanna keep the vibrations high. Your pen and paper and your clipboard and your favorite pen because we are going to plan December together. This is my little TED talk, you could say. Um, I've always wanted to do Vlogmas. My hair is a mess. Definitely not gonna be able to do it this year. I have a full-time job and I'm gonna be traveling home for the holiday and it's really hard to balance a job social life, traveling, and doing Christmas holiday things, let alone vlogging and editing and posting daily, that would just drive me insane. So to save my mental health, I am not doing Vlogmas. We'll be posting three times a week, every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, because I did get asked from people if I was doing Vlogmas. I honestly am already thinking about the new year and the plans I want to do and the goals. Like I've started kind of like figuring out what I want to do to end the year strong and to take off and do for the 2022. But at the same time, I also am trying to pull myself back to the present time and enjoy the holidays. Like I really want to go ice skating. So I plan on going to ice skating, looking at all the lights throughout the city and the neighborhood. I want to decorate the apartment um, as well as getting ready for the new year. What is attached to me? A lot of like holiday stuff I want to do. I want to watch every single Christmas movie ever and have cozy nights. Lots of self-care. I'm gonna make sure that my self-care is priority number one. As much as I need to make money and as much as I wanna do all this fun stuff and travel, my mental and physical health comes first. That's how seasonal depression happens because of the earlier uh, sunsets. You know, we're dark by 5 p.m. The nights are longer and that actually tends to be a leading cause of seasonal uh, depression, which I have um, and spending time with loved ones. So as much as I need money, I also need to make sure that my mental and physical health is priority and number one. So that is basically the plan is to make sure, you know, I'm enjoying the holidays, staying on track with my goals, getting ready for the new year and also taking care of myself. Easy to get lost in the chaos of the year. You know, it's very commercialized, especially here in the US to buy the latest gadgets, buy presents, do all this holiday stuff and you know spend time with family and friends and it can be very chaotic and stuff that's why my biggest priority is to take care of myself first and foremost because you can't pour from an empty cup and you know I want to make sure everything's balanced and with that being said I've learned to just my number one thing I can help you out with planning is one take a day by day uh, whatever you have to get done, um, bring it down to bite-sized pieces, take that day by day, uh, know that you don't have to do it all. Like that's why I'm not doing Vlogmas, that's why I'm, to be honest, uh, everyone's asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I can't think of one thing and it's not to be humble, it makes you happy, but don't overspend and go into debt trying to impress people and buy people the, the best gift ever unless it really makes you happy and it makes and it makes sense. Like I do plan on getting my best friends, my boyfriend, my family some gifts, but I'm not going to exceed my limit. Rush over here, rush over here, it will burn you out. There's no need to burn yourself out. My best option for you when you're planning your December, um, have a routine and a schedule so you don't burn yourself out and make sure you do surround yourself with people that motivate you, that you can confide in and trust in and gives you good energy. Like, you don't, it sounds really harsh, but just cause it's family doesn't mean you have to be around them because you can make your own family. At the end of the day, if your family isn't the best for your mental health, there's no need to be around them. I'm actually very blessed that my family is very supportive and I love being around my family. So I get to be grateful and go visit my family and my friends. Um, another thing I recommend too for planning and finishing the year strong and getting through the very hectic holiday of December is to just have deadlines without stressing yourself out. 
going back into the whole like have a schedule, have a routine, but also take it day by day, be present in it, uh, surround yourself with amazing loved ones, and also have deadlines too. Like, okay, there are four weeks in a month. The first week I'm going to focus on cleaning and taking care of myself and getting the apartment all decorated or home all decorated. Maybe the second week of December you can focus on finances, making sure like, you know, my money's right. Can I spend money on the gifts? Uh, should I? Or are my bills paid? Am I taken care of? Then I can get XYZ, um, this present and that present. Maybe the third week would be doing holiday stuff, you know, or one week out, there's all these things to go do. And maybe the fourth and final week could be all about relaxing, spending your time with your loved ones, um, really embracing the present moment and listening to the music, looking at the lights, like really self-caring yourself. And then by the fifth week, it's the new year. Woo! So that is kind of my uh, guide to finishing the year strong, but also enjoying the holidays and avoiding holiday burnout, seasonal depression, and just making sure that you come out on the other end a strong you, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to go with that whole plan with me. And I, it's so bad, but it's like, it's literally December 1st and I'm excited for the holidays and I want to do all the things that are holidays and Christmassy, but I cannot help but like want to plan for the new year already. But I have to stop myself, slow down and focus on this month. This month is full of holiday cheer, it's the best time of the year, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So stay tuned for all of my holiday Christmassy uh, videos, and don't forget to subscribe, and see you guys in a new video. Bye!